AP Chemistry Screencast 3.4 An Introduction to Acids and Bases. This will present acids and bases at a level that's a little bit deeper and at the same point perhaps a little bit simpler than you've seen it before. Okay, let's review some of the things you've probably learned in first year chemistry about acids and bases. You've learned that an acid in the Arrhenius sense simply contains H+. HCl, HNO3, when you go a little bit deeper into it, that's not necessarily enough. If it doesn't dissociate, then it's not H+. Acetic acid is not an acid until it dissociates, and not much of it does. A base contains OH-, and the same rules apply. It has to actually be in solution and generate the OH- uh, in solution. It has to dissociate in order to be an Arrhenius base, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide are completely dissociated and are good examples of Iranian base, Arrhenius bases. A Bronsted-Lowry base is still a base and it just is, you know, shows up on pH paper the same color and things like that, but there's something a little bit different going on. In the aqueous solution, what happens is it generates hydroxide, right? They also call this a proton acceptor because that's what it does. Take a look at the reaction. Ammonia in and of itself Anhydrous would not be an acid or base. It has no OH minus, it has no H plus. However, when you throw it in water, it generates OH minus. Not only that, but since it's ammonium hydroxide, it completely dissociates it. So an aqueous solution of ammonia is a strong base, anhydrous ammonia is not. And the same thing goes for these, really. It's not until you put them in water that they dissociate either. So you're always talking about solutions regardless. Uh, so a proton acceptor is defined as a Bronsted-Lowry base. It generates hydroxide in solution. Here's a deeper way of looking at it. Acids increase the concentration of H plus in a solution, either directly or when they react with water, right? Bases increase the concentrate of hydroxide in a solution. And it doesn't have to just be ammonia. There's other examples as well. All right, so directly, HCl in solution is a, an Arrhenius acid, fine. Carbon dioxide in solution is also an uh, acid, and here's why. It reacts with water to make hydrogen carbonate. That is carbonic acid. That is an acid. That is a hydrogen that has H plus in solution, so that is a, um, a acid. So common acids in the nonmetal oxides, oxides in water are acids. Similarly, we've got the classic hydroxides like sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide. Those are bases. They contain hydroxide ions in solution. But even things like calcium oxide and magnesium oxide, metal oxides, not non-metal oxides, but metal oxides, make hydroxide in solution. And therefore, they contain some OH- in solution. Looks like a lot. So the common bases such as sodium hydroxide, the uh, aqueous solutions of ammonia, which generates hydroxide, as well as some of the metal oxides are all bases. So really this is just a standard look at acids and bases, but also points out that non-metal oxides in water are acids, metal oxides, such as calcium oxide, in water are bases. That's an introduction to acids and bases.